to poach a perfect egg, you have a pot of boiling water like this, and it's not rapidly boiling, it's medium boiling. You've got one egg in a glass dish. You have your plate ready with your cloth on it and a tool that's called a spider, so that's going to get rid of all the excess moisture. And over here we have our plate with our toast on it ready to go. So this egg is going to take two minutes. So I take the glass bowl and just lower it and let your egg just come right off your bowl. And we want it to be a medium high boil, not a rapidly boiling water, because if it's rapidly boiling, it's going to cut up your egg and it's going to break it apart. So I'm going to set the timer for um, two minutes. And so it's going to be just a little less than two minutes now because I forgot to set the timer right away. And we're going to, we're going to just wait for the egg to finish. Now, of course, if you are, if you are uh, poaching eggs for a big crowd, obviously you have to have a lot, lot bigger pot. And your water has to be boiling a little bit more rapidly because when you put cold eggs into your boiling water, you're going to decrease the temperature of your water. So you've got to be very careful about that. So I'm just moving the egg a little bit so that it doesn't stick to the bottom and it's fine. Now, these poached eggs are great for what we're doing right now, which is just poached eggs on toast. But of course, if you're doing um, eggs benny, it's, an, it's a fabulous option for, um, for breakfast. And if you're making it for a crowd, you would probably use a pot about this size with boiling water in it. So, but right now we're just doing it for one person. And if you have a crowd and you want to make a lot of eggs, I would suggest that you underdo the eggs. So do the eggs, uh, cook the eggs, poach the eggs for about a minute and a half, a minute and three quarters. Take the eggs out, put them on a plate, and then put them in the oven. And then you will come up with a perfectly poached egg. So this egg is absolutely, I'm going to turn off my timer. This egg is absolutely perfect. Now look at that beautiful egg. So I've just, with my cloth, I'm taking out all the excess moisture because I don't want my bread to be, bread to be soggy. I take it and I put it onto my toast. There we have a perfectly poached egg. So if I was to open that, I'll just get a knife here. So look at how beautiful that is. Beautifully soft poached. Isn't that perfect? for poached eggs. So I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for joining me on Cooking Uncovered.